Android class. It's uh, week number one and session number four. In the last class, we had discussed the basics of uh, measure of central tendency, in which we had discussed the types of data. We have group data and ungrouped data, and we had discussed about mean, median, and mode. What are the meanings? Is it general meanings of these three terms? And how we find these three terms um, depending on the data, whether it is group data or ungrouped data. So we had discussed these type of example questions in the last class. In today's class, we are going to start um, this worksheet that you can see on your screen. If you don't have the worksheet with you, just drop me a message on portal, so I will upload it uh, on the portal, so you can download it and you can solve the questions from that worksheet as well. All right. So the first question says. In a test marked out of a maximum possible mark of 10, a class of 40 students obtained marks as shown in the table. So you have a data of 40 students, that is an important point. So you have a mark, it, what does it table say? It says that the student who scored 0 mark is 1, the student who scored 1 marks are 2 students, the student who scored 2 marks are 5 and vice versa. Find the median mark. So in our last class we had attempted some median examples of group data I'm sure that you all are aware of the fact that how to find median of a group data so the first thing to find out the median we need to find out the value of summation of frequency right as it is already given in the question and its value is 40 right so the summation of frequency is 40 after that, you need to apply the working formula which says that n plus 1 divided by 2 and n is 40 here. So when you place the value of n 40, so that will be 41, 40 plus 1, 41 divided by 2, it leads to 20.5. Alright, so 20.5 is not your final answer. Basically, it represents the placement. 20.5 indicates we are looking for 20th and 21st term. Alright. After that, we need to add all those frequency to find out the 20 and 21st frequency from the table. So write down the first frequency as it is and after that 1 plus 2 leads to 3, 3 plus 5 leads to 8, 8 plus 8 leads to 16, 16 plus 4 leads to 20. 20 is the first number that I am looking for. It means that partial of my median is 4. I, I have used the word partial that means it is not the final answer because the 21st term is still missing. So when I add next term 20 plus 3 it is 23 that means 21 lies in the group 5. Alright so the median for this question is 4 plus 5 divided by 2 that is the middle value and it is 4.5 that is your first part answer all right i hope that it is clear to you and uh, for the first part you have a time of one minute to note down in your lecture copy and then i will start with the second one All right, for the next part, that is part B, it says write down the modal mark. Now, I'm pretty sure that all of you can have the answer of modal mark, the one with the highest frequency. So the 
one with the highest frequency is 8 right the highest frequency in this table is 8 so the mode is 3 all right the mode is 3 the one with the highest frequency and in the part C it says that calculate the mean mark giving your answer correct to one decimal place now to find out the mean of group data the working formula we use its summation of fx divided by summation of f so you need to find out summation of fx and for that part i'm just going to erase these values so i can write down the values for fx all right so fx you need to multiply these two one zero are zero two ones are two five twos are ten eight threes are twenty four four fours are sixteen three fives are fifteen seven six are forty two 5 7s are 35, 2 8s are 16, 9 1s are 9, and 10 2s are 20. Now, once you have find out the values of commission fx, you need to add them together. So it will be 0 plus 2, it's 2 plus 10 plus 24 plus 16 plus 15, 42, 35, 16. 9 and 20 that is your summation fx and divided by summation of frequency it is given and highlighted in the question it is 40 now we need to add those values so it's 10 plus 2 12 plus 24 36 plus 16 plus 15 plus 42 plus 35 plus 16 plus 9 and plus 20 so that is sum up to 189 divided by 40 so it's 4.725 we will write 4.7 as it is correct to one decimal place all right so first you need to uh, note down the solution in your copy and the time for that part is 90 seconds so start All right, moving on to the next question from the worksheet. It's question number two. Let me zoom, in, zoom it a bit. All right, 
for the distribution it's 8 11 15 13 8 6 10 8 23 and 13 find the mode the mean and the mean home. so that is an ungrouped data make sure that you are going to apply the working formula of ungrouped data and you need to attempt this question by yourself first so for that whole three parts i am giving you the time of two and a half minutes all right uh, attempt this question by yourself and then i will start so begin all right for the mode all right first one is mode for the mode we need to highlight those numbers that is repeating more than once all right so let's start with eight we have eight here we have eight here and we have eight here is there any other number that is repeating more than three i am i can observe that 13 is repeating two times right first one and second one other than that there is no number that is repeating more than three times so the mode in this question is eight because it is repeating three times all right that is the first part answer for the mean part mean for ungrouped data sum of all frequency divided by n so you need to add all those values it will be 8 plus 11 15 plus 13 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 8 23 and last is 30 divided by how many numbers we have it's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 terms right now you need to add them so it's 8 plus 11 
plus 15 plus 13 plus 8 plus 6 plus 10 plus 8 23 and 13 that is sum up to 115 divided by 10 and when you divide it by 10 it's 11.5 that is your mean of ungrouped data all right i hope that all of you are getting the same answers and in the part c when it talks about median we know that for median the first and the most important step is arrange your data in ascending order all right so first write your data in ascending order so the smallest number we have is six after that i'm just crossing out at six so that make sure that i'm i am there is no chance that any number will be left behind so that's why i'm just applying the cross on the number so first one is six and after that i have three eights and i'm just going to cross eight eight and eight after eight we have ten all right and after 10 i have 11 after 11 i have two number 13 so 13 and 13 and after that i have 15 and lastly i have number 23 to make sure that i didn't uh, left any value so I will just count the value one again. Once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So there are ten values. The working formula is n plus one divided by two. N is ten. Ten plus one, eleven upon two leads to five point five. That indicates fifth and sixth term. So first, uh, we need to highlight fifth and sixth term. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. So these are the two terms. So the median lies between those two terms that means the median is 10.5 and that is your answer so i expect that you had done the same thing or if there is some mistake so now you have a clear idea how to find mean median and mode from the ungrouped data all right so after that moving on towards the next question from your worksheet it's question number three all right i hope that it is uh, clear to you all right now it says that the table gives the daily pocket money received by 45 people in a primary one class amount of pocket money and number of people receiving this amount are given in the table write down the mode of this distribution so mode is quite easy the one with the highest frequency the highest frequency we have is 60 so oh, sorry 10 right the highest frequency is 10 that means the mode is 60 that is your first answer moving on to the next one it says find out the median so for median firstly you need to do it by yourself and then i will tell you the answer so for median i am giving you the time of 90 seconds so start
all right what i expect that you had done is summation of f is 45 so n plus 1 divided by 2 45 plus 1 divided by 2 leads to 46 divided by 2 it means that 23rd term so for 23rd term we need to add all those values the first is 4 4 plus 7 11 11 plus 10 is 21 21 plus 6 is 27 23rd term lie in this group so that means the median we have is 75 that is your answer all right for the next one it says that find out the value of mean for mean uh, the working formula we know it's a summation of fx divided by summation of f right so it includes uh, some of the uh, calculation work for that part you have a time of two minutes to find out the value of mean and then i will start so begin All right, so if I do the summation fx, it's 4 times 40, it's 160, plus 7 times 50 is 350, plus 600, plus 6 into 75, it's 450, plus 7, 9, 630, plus 900, plus 240, and divided by total frequency is 45. I need to add all those values. So 160 plus 350 plus 600 plus 450 plus 630 plus 900 and lastly it's 240 so that is 3330 divided by 45 or right? like it leads to 74 that is the mean of this distribution and I expect that you are getting the same value all right so we have done first three parts in the last part it says the mean daily pocket money of 35 people in another class is m cents so uh, you have the mean value uh, given that the mean daily pocket money of the 80 people from these two classes is 72.25 cents calculate the value of m all right so first thing 
if it says the mean daily pocket money of 35 people all right if i'm saying that mean of 35 peoples are m cents so i have the value of mean what is mean generally we had discussed that mean is sum divided by n so the value of mean is n i don't know the sum of those 35 workers so i'll say that sum is unknown to me and there are 35 people so that means the value of n is 35 so i have the value of sum if you do the cross multiplication you will get 35 times n right and what does it indicate it indicates the sum of uh, pocket money pn of 35 people that is represented by 35 m similarly if we need to find out the sum of 45 people right we had the sum of 45 people and that is triple three zero we had just find out in part c so i'm saying that sum of 45 people's pocket money is 3330 all right that is the second part all right now furthermore it says that given that the pocket money of the 80 people now i can i need to find out the sum of those 80 people and we can do it simply by the mean formula mean is what mean is sum divided by n mean is given it's 72.25 right the value of mean is this one mean is given 72.25 it equals to sum of 8 80 peoples we don't know the value of it divided by there are total 80 peoples which we are talking about so it's 80 times 72.25 leads to 5780 equals to sum of 80 peoples now in generally if I say that sum of 80 equals to sum of 35 peoples plus sum of 45 peoples, right? That is a general equation. Now I have the value of all these three terms. Sum of 80 persons is 5780 sum of 35 persons is 35 m and sum of 45 people it's 3330 now you can easily find out the value of m here 5780 minus 3330 and divided by 35 gives you the value of 70 the value of m we have is 70 i hope that all of you uh, have a clear idea of this question all right so you have a time of uh, let's say you have a time of 90 seconds to note down the solution in your copy and then you will start the next question
All right, so it's question number four from your worksheet. Uh, an easy question similar to question number two. We had done uh, before question number three. It's uh, ungrouped data, right? The marks is scored by 12 children in the mathematical test are as follows. 19, 14, 13, 17, 16, 8, 16. So I think that is a very easy question. So what you need to do? You need to try this question as your homework, right? We know how to find mode, we know how to find median from ungrouped data and we know very well how to find mean of ungrouped data. So I think that it is uh, quite enough for today class. Make sure that when you are attempting such type of questions, there should not be any mistake while you are doing the calculation work. Because in most of the cases when a student is finding summation fx, there is a huge chance of making a mistake to find out the value of mean. So make sure that you have a good command on your calculator and avoid any mistakes, uh, especially any uh, addition or subtraction mistake because that is a one mark question or maximum two mark question in your CIs. So making a mistake in your signs will uh, eliminate one mark. So try to avoid those mistakes and the best way to avoid those mistakes is to practice more questions, all right? So in today's class, we had discussed a major portion of mean, median and mode. In your past papers, if you observe that similar questions appears every time, all right? And um, this topic mostly, uh, this such type of questions mostly comes in paper one. So try to solve these questions uh, without the help of uh, calculator. Uh, not these type of questions, these such type of questions appears in paper 2 if your data is not so large and um, not the large values include in your data then it is paper 1 question and if the values are quite large then it always appears in paper 2. So try to uh, do those questions which have lower values by yourself, avoid usage of calculator so that you have a good command in your paper 1. Alright, so inshallah next class we are going to start uh, with the next question. What you need to do, you need to attempt this question, make sure that you are getting the right answers and your method should be right. So see you next class, take care and Allah Hafiz.